The tax deadline of April 18th is looming. It's also the season for scam artists, and some of the most vulnerable are senior citizens. News 8 anchor Scott McDonald has a closer look now at how high-tech crooks can rob someone of much more than just money. Shirley couldn't sleep at night. She was just terrified. For 93-year-old Shirley Malinowski of Stores Mansfield, if you're robbed, you're robbed. Doesn't matter if it's online or on the street. And to think that somebody could violate her just that quickly. It started with letters from the IRS. Kathleen Cardona of Home Instead Senior Care knew something wasn't right. I was just coming in for a routine visit when I noticed all of these papers on the on the table. One letter said her address had been changed. I couldn't understand it. I had no idea. Shirley How hadn't moved happen. anywhere. She said, I think, it's a, I think it's a scam. I'm just going to throw it away. Another letter said her direct deposit was changed. Shirley didn't do that either. And I said, well, let's make a phone call. And I talk, called the Social Security office who verified then that Yes, somebody really indeed had changed her address in the system, had created an online account for her. She knew what it meant. That meant they were stealing my money. On top of that, she was locked out of her own accounts. They wouldn't give us the password, so we couldn't get into it. Over five hours at the Social Security office, and that wasn't all. We had to go to every single one of her banks. They were able to stop payments before her money was gone, but ultimately, much more than her Just checks were taken. Caused a whole lot of physical issues because she then can't sleep, then she's too weak to shower and bathe. The lesson, an extra set of eyes on our seniors in a cyber-driven world can be invaluable. So having an advocate is critical in this world, but you're doing great now. Yeah, yes, I am. Scott McDonald, News 8.